Oh, yeah. Back at it again. You know what's going on. So, that time I was in Target, your girl did stumble across another drink that I've never seen before. So, who am I? <laughs> but to get it. You know what I'm talking about? Because <laughs> I do this for Miss Gladys. Boy, I try to tell you. Um, yeah. So, it had like um two other flavors, I believe. But we'll get to that later. Um, This is... I'm about to F it up. So, don't come for me. Didn't send for any of you. But, um... If you know me, you know the same of Fun Sway, certified regular, ain't got a resume. Now, check this out. If you know me, you know I can't pass Spanish to save my life. They obviously don't want me to know the language. That's fine. I ain't tripping. So, you say it <laughs> before I butcher it and say it. And we'll put the two together and we'll go from there. All right. So, this is, it could be Della, but De La Cale or Calile. I say Cali. De la Cali. Tapique. Mm hmm. Fermented taste of Mexico. Only 50 calories. This is tropical. And I guess under it is ponche. Probably punch. <laughs> See, I ain't that retarded. Okay, 12 fluid ounces. This is USDA organic. Hmm. Pretty much straightforward ingredients. I can respect it. So I'll read it. Ingredients carbonated water. Tapache. Erythritol. Okay, we don't know that one. I can't see ya. Don't know that one. Orange juice concentrate, organic natural flavors, citric extract, agave, inulin, cinnamon extract, lemon extract, and absorbent acid, aka vitamin C, and organic ingredients. I can respect it. At least you can read most of them, except for like two of them. Um, it's non GMO, vegan, gluten free, soy free, soy free, and high in vitamin C. Um, Okay, this is in English, so I can read it. It says, hola. I know that word. Hey, for generations, tapique, and I, if I'm jacking that up, I'm so sorry. Um, tapique, a fermented probiotic drink made with pineapple rind and a unique blend of aromics, aromatic, sorry, and spices has been served and savored throughout Mexico. Enjoy that. Tapicarias, or simply sipped out of a bag with a straw. There are hundreds of tapique. Peaky, or maybe it's Tapache. Variations that differ from region to region. De, De La Cale, Cale, Lord have mercy, offers a traditional Tapache recipe using pineapples and turbinado sugar. Maybe it's turbinado. I'm just effing it all up. Lord have mercy, y'all pray for me. We also have zesty flavors like orange, turmeric, mango, chili, and tamarind citrus created by our team from Mexico. So those are the other flavors. Don't come for me with this reading. And the only reason I got a couple stops in there is because there's a certain, there's a glare coming here. So I, I tried to like move it to where I can't see the glare, but it messes with the word a little bit. We all know I can read. Can't say other languages, but I can read. So don't come for me. Uh so this one is the tropical, <laughs> tropical punch. <laughs> I decided all illiterate. It's time to another language. I can't do it. But fun fact though, I can speak Latin. Well, I, I pass Latin. Okay, didn't pass Spanish, but I pass Latin. So ha, <laughs> and I pass Chinese. Word for the vibes. Don't say I never tell you nothing about myself. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Hey, <laughs> smells like like an orange juice. Eh, smells a little bit like Hawaiian punch. Maybe that's the tropical in it. <laughs> I don't know. But let's do it. That's different. Yeah. Thought I had pizza in my mouth at first. Then it started tasting like a cookie. Like I'm on like <laughs> Willy Wonka or something. I'm not Talk about a drink that confuses you. Now I'm all about the difference. And different flavors. I taste orange. I taste tropicalness. I taste the cinnamon that they mentioned. It is. I did read that in the ingredients. Okay. That cinnamon extract is in there. So drinking it is like drinking some orange juice and eating a little oatmeal cream pie cookie with less cream, but more of the cinnamon goodness they make the pie with. Oh, that 
that's interesting. And as it as it percolates in my mouth, it tastes more like the essence of an orange or the, the orange little rind that it said, but you read this ingredients again. That is different. Okay. Maybe that's the agave. The lemon extract that is coating, it literally coats your mouth at the end with just enough. But all them other flavors, they it's not that they come one at one, they literally come like this in your mouth. Oh. That's different. Now it does have a lightness to it that if I had to compare the light flavor that kind of rolls over. It's like if you would have um a, a seltzery white tonic mixture drink, like if you're trying to make a carbonated water and put just a dash of um flavor in it, that's that slight clearness that you taste, but then them other flavors it's like, don't worry about that, we got you. I'm cool with that, you know. I don't get too many drinks that you know make my eyebrow go up or different like this, so I ain't Mexican by a long shot. Not even in the Hispanic department. But hey, to PK, to Apache, God dang it, we're going to go with Apache. That sounds that sound a little Indian on there. So, to Apache, you to confuse the girl with this, but in a good way. It's like a bunch of flavors going on like this. It's almost like a perfect holiday drink. So, I'm going to, like, one day, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I can run into the real version that they're basing this off and drink it out the bag, like the des description said. Because this is... This is marvelous. This is makes me want to deck the halls with lots of jelly. And the aftertaste, let me just let me skip to the basics. It got me all confused. Um, the aftertaste is of orange essence, kind of like when you have, um, like if you ever did the uh, class experiment or a project where you take the orange and you put the little potpourri things in there and make it smell good. It's kind of like that. It's satisfying that it fades after like a good three to five seconds. That's all you'll get in your mouth. I can respect it. So, I'm going down to your local Target. And you know what? I'm not going to say these aren't at Walmart because I have seen a can similar to this. But, you know what I'm going to say it anyway. Keep your eyes peeled at the Walmart for this tapache or whatever the drink. Please don't come for me. I already started off with the video saying, your girl is not bilingual by a long shot, okay? I did not pass Spanish. Come past to save my life. Don't come talking about, oh, that's the second easiest language. Nah, English is worse. Worry about yourself, okay? I tried, okay? You can't really sign it out because they got different pronunciations and stuff. I already know that. But to patch it, you see how it's spelled, okay? So just, just go based on the can. Don't don't cover me. I ain't sent for none of y'all. Just stall him out, Debo. Stall him out. But I got this bad boy at Target. Keep your eyes and ears and your nose open at any other grocery store, any other, you know, the Walmart. Harris Teeter, H-E-B, all them good stores, because they might just have it. But this was definitely in the section that was over there with the Naked Drinks, the Ollie Pops, all those prebiotic-type drinks, and the Palms. That's where you can find it. It was cold. It was refreshing. And, hey, if you want to try something different, I ain't mad at you, Mexico. I ain't mad at you, okay? Your girl, you got a fan, okay? Because this is different. So if you want to try something different, you want to tell, like, a little island. Matter of fact, if you want something different for the holidays, I don't know... If y'all drink, if anybody of the Mexican or Spanish, Hispanic culture drinks these or the drink is based off, let me know if they drink this during the holidays. This gives me holiday vibes, okay? Forget all that pumpkin spice and cinnamon spice and all that crap like that. Y'all need to get y'all some of this tapache, okay? Get you some of this. Get you one. You already know I got this one.